going on here? Water's up. Yeah, it's a good day, bro. It's a good day. I need to find my tripod. I don't remember what I did with it. It's probably with my ice fishing shit. So I can just start filming full body again. I like doing that. Get some epic shots. All right, guys. First cast. Oh, look at that. There's a nice little spot for us to stand over here. Yay. Ta-da. <laughs> real cold last night we had a temperature drop it's been about mid 60s to mid 70s about a 10 temp, temp about a 10 degrees temperature difference on average um, per day but last night it got real cold and today it says it hit 70 i don't i don't believe it this morning was very very cold and i'm thinking like 65 max but we got a little bit of a breeze the uh, wind is blowing in towards us, so we got some moving baits, got a chatter bait, got a big swim bait with us today and some other ones and a tube, so hopefully we can find some schooling bass and let's get on them. So what I'm doing with this chatter bait right now is just each cast, I'm letting it go to a different depth, kind of trying to see if I can get any bites in other depths than specific. I don't imagine they're going to be super close to the surface, but they're probably not going to be directly on the bottom all day. I don't know. <laughs> it wasn't like a football coach, you know, where like it's a team or a soccer coach or something. It was like, all right, this guy, that guy, we're all enemies. <laughs> Got him. Yep, on the drop. On the drop. So what I was doing there again, guys, I'm just letting this chatterbait fall down to different depths and then starting to reel and just trying to find where these schooling fish are and seeing if i can get them to bite that time i wasn't even reeling in the chatterbait was just dropping and that paddle tail was just flailing down and i was able to get him to grab on and i set the hook another tip on that is keeping your finger across the line when that lure's dropping boom bam look at this guy beauty can't even argue thank you my friend huh is he bleeding a little bit uh oh just a little bit let's get him back huh thank you buddy yes they are beautiful so we're gonna get back at that again and just cast it out holding my finger across the line here so I can feel any vibration. Jacob's on one. I just got thunked while it was dropping. I felt that. Yeah, Boom. Ooh, so it sounds like they're grabbing them on the drop right now, guys. Inhaled that tube. They're eating different types of forage right now. I have a pretty big size paddle tail on this chatterbait. And this is kind of a quarter, I imagine, quarter ounce tube? Uh, half ounce. Half ounce yeah. tube. So either either way, four inch tube, nothing big, but that shows that difference. I'm using a white chatterbait. He just caught that on a green pumpkin tube. Beautiful fish. So that just shows, you know, when they're schooling like this and they're trying to eat, last night that cold front came in. We're going to have even colder weather coming in. We have snow coming in with some sleet on Saturday. They're fattening up. So they're, they're gonna be fattening up and just getting ready to stage up for winter time and they need to get those meals in now while they can and they know that. Oh man, I think one just grabbed the tail. I had to have had a follower. I was going real slow, just doing my reel and like pausing. And I was leaving it paused and I went, zoop, zoop. And in my slack and right through the line, it fell, whack. And I sit, but there's nothing there. Damn, I got my hopes up. I'm a little heartbroken. <laughs> there's an eating goose thing. Hawk. Oh, uh, fucking dead hawk. Yeah. Might have gotten electrocuted. Well, that's whack.
Damn. Pretty feathers on that guy. I thought it was a goose. You promised me a 10 pounder today. You texted me, you said, hey, you wanna go fishing? You'll catch a 10 pounder. 